What's going on, everybody? Today's video, we're going to talk about some more people who got caught up stealing or doing something wrong in the sports car community. As you guys remember last month, I think we had like three different cases that were pushed out to the public through various news outlets. Well, this is number one so far this month, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button now because we have another one after this, which will be coming up a little bit later on. Uh, in a video uh, probably this weekend offhand. I'm not too sure how these are all going to be arranged. But let's get to the first one. You guys remember back, oh, it was a little while ago, uh, Kentucky or Lexington, Kentucky had a shop that got broken into. Well, they finally caught the guy. And it says here, Knoxville man sentenced for stealing thousands of sports cards. Gives the name of the person. Multiple sports card businesses in multiple states. Five years in prison. Stolen items from Tennessee, Kentucky, Michigan, and Georgia. For some reason, I thought Alabama was in there, but I could be wrong. You guys could see what his restitution is, his forfeiture, all that. A lot of money. A lot of money this guy got hit with. But you do the crime, you're definitely going to do the time, and you're going to pay some money. So scrolling down here. You guys can see I'll put the link to this article and the other article into the description if you guys want to read it, listen to the little news outlets and all that stuff across the board. 38 years old, burglarized multiple sports car businesses. It gives the states all again right there. Uh, from August 19th through October 14th, 2021. So was that about three-month period in there? He just went ballistic and decided, I'm just gonna rob sports card shops, you know, in 2021. We're gonna make some money on this stuff. Boom, you got busted, dude. You got busted. But as you guys can see, here's the whole thing there. More article to it. He has to serve 85% of his prison sentence upon release. He'll have three years supervision by probation. Looks like they uh, had a big old investigation onto it. So second article right here. This is the picture, if you guys remember right, well, from the uh, original story. This is out of Lexington. Guy kind of looking up, still in the box. As you can tell, that's optic down there. And they pretty much give the same exact thing. I swore one of these said Alabama, but I guess I'm wrong. Maybe they did that or maybe they changed it. But this one's November 1st. The other article, I believe, was November 2nd. But same exact thing. The only difference is he's ordered to pay, you know, $289,266 in restitution and 50000 part of a forfeiture money judgment. But we got another one off the streets, everybody. This is the thing. If somebody's going to steal from you, they're going to take advantage of you by theft and all that, whether it's internet or not. You start hitting them police up. This stuff's becoming bigger and bigger because of the transparency from a lot of these influencers pushing these big deals. That's a lot of money in some cases, some states, felonies, you know, depending on where their uh, limits are on the thresholds and everything. But good news story of the week. Another one got busted, got found. He's gotten tried, sentenced, and all that stuff. All right, guys. Other than that, I'm out. See y'all next video. Yes, I just dabbed. Hey, like that. Learn something new. I know it's been old.